be a long night. So, pee. Big thing of tea. <laughs> Need all the tea because I have much to do after this, so. Alrighty, time to go to the most awkward funeral ever because I murdered my sister, so. Oh, Swansea has more. Alright, Swansea? Yeah, there's new dialogue available. First we talk to Edgar, then we go to my sister's funeral. Which would be totally fine. It would not be awkward at all to go to sister's funeral. Edgar! Hey, Brohan. I need to talk to you, Edgar. Please do so. Nurse Crane will not be returning to Pembroke Hospital. Oh, really? Did something happen? She seems such a very capable woman. There you go, she blackmailed Lady Ashbury. She was blackmailing Lady Ashbury. Thought she was murdering patients as some sick upper-class game. Nurse Crane was playing a dangerous game. She's lucky Lady Ashbury abhors violence. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I figured that was the best thing to tell you other than I broke her mind. Whoopsie. So you manage a hospital financed by a vampire? Yes, Pembroke was founded by Lady Ashbury. She's also our largest donor. How did you meet her? If I may inquire, how did you meet her? Well, Jonathan, she sought me out and offered me the position. It's been a very profitable partnership for both parties. Interesting. A convenient yet expensive way to have a fresh supply of blood on hand, day and night, don't you think? All vampires drink blood by nature. Me, I praise the lady's exemplary moral fiber. Hmm. She does only kill the dying. Like, they're already dead anyway, so she's just hasting the process so they don't suffer. I get that. Do you know anything about the vampire hunters in the East End? Without a doubt, it's the guard of Prewen. Zealots to the last man. Where do they come from? Well, once they shared the Brotherhood's ideology on non-intervention. But they concluded vampires were a scourge. I get it, though. They're definitely well organized and equipped. They're extremely dangerous and not to be trifled with. To them, you're a feral beast, and I, your accomplice. Interesting. We'll talk later. Right, well, hopefully that was all the... yeah. Now time to go to, uh, cemetery. Bury my sister. Which will totally not be awkward. Wait, I didn't put my blood into her, right? So she can't be a vampire, right? I don't think so. I wish I could turn you, Thelma. You already believe you're a vampire anyway. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary. I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Yeah, we are overwhelmed. It's a pa not a pandemic, it's a pandemic. Well, do I have headache medicine for him? Do I have headache medicine? Is that this one? I don't know. Where do I see my medicine at? There we go. Amia, tea, hepatitis, headache, headache. Oswald.
four pair. And the first four more of some. Puzzle. Puzzle. Okay. Well, rats in the streets. Aren't I the lucky one? Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. You know what? How about I just give you this medicine? I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have you consulted. You can take it if you want it. Uh, don't want it, true. you don't have to take you it. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. We haven't talked, Oswald? Why have we not talked? Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier, too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. But I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Mm. Trench Tell me about your that. claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Okay. Why not go to the why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about is their careers and processes. Oh. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last That's a not... lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. All right, I get it. I do, I do, I understand. Which, I got two more hints on him. Personal questions. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Look, Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. You got buried, didn't you, in the war? Bodies falling onto the map. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. Oh, God. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Oh, my God. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, days like months. Oh, the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. Shameful thoughts? Shameful thoughts. Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, Fair. when I thought we'd never be rescued. That this would be our end. I thought, I thought about, I thought about. <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. Very true. I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I thought about killing you, killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. Oh. Oh no, this is not the time period for you, my sir. You need to jump forward about a hundred years. Oh, you poor thing. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. It did not destroy you either. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. 
I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, walking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Hmm. That's really sweet. Okay. Okay, there's Goodbye, one more personal Mr. question Fletcher. for him, but... Try to take care of yourself. Come here, Oswald. Come here. Come here, Newton. Hello Good again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. That's what we're supposed to do as doctors. Can't thank you enough, sir. I do that enough as like a public servant because I'm a librarian. Oh. Oh, he's okay. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we're in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. Sheer dumb luck. Fantastic. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon. But it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Mm. Twice. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me, I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. You know what? That's fair. I don't like rats or mice at all. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. I already talked to him. He's, he's pretty... You know, he's got some stuff to work through, dude. You and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah. It was last summer. A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. God. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. Surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? Yeah. How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see. Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. Okay, that's really fair, though. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. So cute. We knew love, we love. wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. Well, a hundred years ago, the world was a complete different. Like, I won't, I won't say a word. I won't say a word, Mr. Blight. Your secret is safe with me. I fought for my country and I survived. I saw my comrades die. And now society tells me I'm a criminal for who I love. Mm -hmm. mm. It makes me so angry. I totally forgot you could go to jail for being gay. You literally, it was literally a crime to be homosexual. We have come so far in the last hundred years. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. 
I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. Ugh. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Yeah, they do that. Gnawing at my ears. My fingers. Mm. Lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald. He found me and saved me. Mm. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Okay, so I'm thinking that was it for Newton and Oswald, yeah. Oh, I don't want it. They're so cute. Neither of them are bad, so I'll just... I mean, they're... whatever. The only one that's bad, I think, I want to kill him. He's not ready. I want to kill... him, but he's not ready. I don't know about these two to kill, to figure that out, but... Clay and... Ackroyd are on the kill list. So sad. It's so weird that it's a very I weird thing to me that you could literally go to jail for being gay. Ali. It's just weird. Like what a weird thing. When people are like, "Oh, we have it so bad." Like, no, it's actually it's literally the best it's ever been. It's not perfect by any means, but it's the best it's been. Books. Yeah, I'm full up on blood. Oh my god, my ultimate's really powerful. Kinda spoopy. It's on it! It's on it! 
Oh my god. Bullets? Super irritating. Gotcha. Better go home, sir. That's really nice for the big bosses, or the big guys. Really annoying ones. That's so useful! Get ton of damage, too. Steady, boys! We've got one of them here! Sprint again. That's like the one thing I always forget. Wait, there's a yeah, yeah, control service. Now I sprint. Walk, jog. That's not what I want. Hold circle. Okay. There we go. I literally never remember. My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. Well, you're gonna have to, because we're going to this funeral, because you're the one that killed her and put her in the grave, Jonathan. I'm not blaming you. You need to go try to make it... You go try to make it right, alright? Can't kill your sister and then skip her funeral. First, so I'll be nice to you and let you. Should be around here, right? There she is. Ma'am, I really need you to try to go back to Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees, but unfortunately you don't see her around anymore. Mm. What was Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Xu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this I'm time, so there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The, the worst thing is though. not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. Hmm. Sad. But we'll say I, so I did a little bit of research because I was curious, and the first wave of Spanish flu was like it 
was kind of contagious and it kind of killed some people, but not a whole lot. And then when it mutated, the second wave was like everybody. That's where like the majority of the deaths got because everybody started getting it. So. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never Blue said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Would you like me to kill you soon, Matthew? Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. Sadness can be a terrible trap. It can entangle you and weaken your heart if you let it control your thoughts. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. Don't I sense you're trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. The doctor. The doctors do. I don't know. She doesn't seem like she's just in mourning, right? You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. I get it. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say, I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone blame for Matthew's death. And virus. who else, if not his wife, who did not see it How coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I wanted you to know that you have done nothing wrong. Unlike me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. You know you can trust me. Why have you not spoken to me? It's very discreetly. Oh no, I want to see Mom. Hey, Mom. It's your long lost son who... Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Mother, why have you come here? This is proving far worse than I imagined. resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die 
we commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You should probably go talk to your mother, Jonathan. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? Jonathan, These are the legal mother. requirements for the epidemic, Mary. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <sighs> she just did the one thing a parent is never supposed to do. Let's bury your children. It's the world's cruelest joke. To a parent, like if you're not a parent, there's, you know. You should have talked to your mother, Jonathan. Oh, Mary. What have I done? You should make sure she's really dead. If I could only change one thing. Thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. You should really make sure she's actually dead, though, Jonathan. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. Lady Ashbury, how did you. Edgar. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come, but I'm empty, and I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me, and it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve. And the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries. And time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Right, can I go Find in? the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Can I go in a church? Is that a possibility? Yes, I, as a vampire, can go in the church. Okay, seems we're just kitchen. Is there any other little, like... There's one. Oh, the freaking... Literally last one. Literally last one right now. Alright, well. I guess I will go in the church. So I could totally go into a church. That's totally a thing.
This is no place for you, sir. Stop now! This one's mine! <laughs> Did sure she goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Can Who I help are you? you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? You're very big, Ascalon sir. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Why are you so big? These immortals try my patience. With their plans and unsolicited counsel. Oh! I thought you were actually a good reverend. Bad. Break you! Stingy at me. Stay back, please. Oh, my blood. Try some blood. This man stunned me with his faith. His crucifix. This is not good news. You're a vampire. It's part of the lore. I don't think you can go in the church. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure you can't go inside this church for writing tale. I don't even know why you're heading there. We've already been by that church. That's the one with the crazy pastor that wants to burn the city to the ground. And we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna die. Oh, Clayton! I'm gonna kill you. You're a nice guy, Clayton. You're trying, Clayton. You know that? Yo, know, Clayton, Clayton is trying. I love what that, um, Clarice? I forgot that woman's name. Is there anybody in this? Heh. Heh heh. Joe. So much fatigue medicine. Ah, that's a lot. Okay. I still have a couple people unknown, too, in this area. Yeah, yeah, you. You're on the kill list, sir. I need one more. I need a few more levels of mesmer, but. Next. 
soon the time will come when you will all be judged for your oh, yeah, the church. Oh. sins. Even now he judges your words and actions. Shut up, you crazy, crazy pastor. Usually I don't care about the people's religious police or anything, but if you're like super crazy and wanna like kill people for your police. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. You don't seem to think. Help you, child. You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Let's rewind for a second. So yeah, not allowed the church. Was kind of figuring that. Number two, you're the vicar. Should I tell you about the crazy friar? That wants to burn the city down. Or should I just kill the friar? I'm killing the friar. He's a dangerous lunatic. No. You seem to me a good soul, vicar. But this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. I will say, personally, right? Like, I'm not Christian at all, so this is a very interesting playthrough for me because I'm going to make him kind of religious. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me, is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest. As you seem quite adamant. If we just skirt Open around Open your heart, Mary, my son. Die. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She died? She's been laid to rest, or she murdered. Let me think. She was murdered. Too well, yeah, yeah, you kind of killed she her. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? It wasn't me. It didn't. I wasn't the one that drained your blood and fucking killed you. That was my evil twin that you never knew about. I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. If nothing else, that gets it off your chest and out the open. And that's actually very nice. Anyway, that's actually very good for you. Because, yes, Jonathan there. killed her, but like. I confessed to that. 
Vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. Yeah, I guess this is good name. Because I really don't know. We can't do that yet. What level am I? No, wait, 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 wait. Level one. Huh. Yeah. No. Huh. Wait, hunt that one for a bit. We did go there. It was like a level 24 fight. We'll wait. Ask her to buy chapel. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna go this way. Not good place for a stroll. Love wounded. How do I get to where I'm going real quick? Oh Jesus! A leech! A leech! Back, demon! Back, beast! Busy! Bloody will crush this beast! Snap! Kill you quickly. Kill the skulls, not me. I mean, really, if you have to kill vampires, you might as well kill the skulls. Right? And don't like rabbit dogs. Kill them. So many of them. Cross guys are really hard to beat. You go this door? No, sadness. I wanted to go through the door and make my life easier, but no. Let's do that. Can't go around, can we? Oh, you're kind of glitching there, dude. Alright, so. Down this way, I think it was. Yeah, it gets me closer, closer and closer and closer. Look, I remember no button to just run. Remorse and pain are precious when binding you to the earth. You, I remember you. Are you Jack the Ripper? I feel like A, you're Dracula, or B, you're Jack the Ripper. Or both! Oh, I can't run. I want your name. Jack or Vlad? Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me! Made me this creature! What are you? I am the land. You are our 
champion. What? Why me? You selected me, chose me. Why? As shall my children yet to come. What? What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. Defeat the serpent. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. That's fair, but really, so I want the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity. Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. I mean, probably? It's really strange, though. I think I did a side quest real quick. It's like the only one I don't have done. Oh, it's not loaded. Okay. Anyway, it's really confusing because, like, I am the land, so he's been around for a while then. That statement. you load okay fear no evil we do the lord's work here tonight. I think this has been a really murder heavy episode again.
back up there. It's really low. I don't like that being that low. What about Dr. Thoreau Strickland from Brook Hospital? List of substances and ingredients. Lacrima Lacrima papaveris well, medical opium sodium hypochlorite potassium permagante. Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. I would... Yeah, I'm a little bit struggling. I get, I get what you're saying. I get, I get what you're thinking. All right, buddy. 100% get it. Not a good idea just to willy-nilly hand out opium, though. Best stay back, sir. I just go down this really weirdly populated area full of bodies. There's so many bodies in this area. It's almost like somebody just came and killed all you people. Because you're really stupid. Fear no evil. We do the Lord's work here. Anything sketchy? Anything sketchy? Is nobody doing sketchy crap right now? Well, what's the fun of poking around if nobody's doing things sketchy? Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Hey, you know that psych was gave me like forever ago? I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. It's dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances, and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. I get it. I mean, okay, 100 years ago we had way less medical knowledge. So he's just trying, he's like, okay, you're gonna die anyway. Let's just see. Like, you're gonna die if I do nothing. If I do what we've been doing, you're gonna die. So let's try this random thing that might work. I get it. I want to know about these secret tests you run, and if they can save people from this epidemic. 
Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. Crap. I know Can't exactly see. what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. I can't, I can't blame him because he's trying to just help people and that, at the end of the day... I can't wait for that. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Kind of, but not really. I kind of have a reflection, but not really. Are you still in here, bro? Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? <sighs> Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. With everybody sick with the flu and stuff, it's yeah. That's rough. I do know, like, you know, I'm supposed to be donating a kidney to my mother-in-law, and with everything going on, it's like she's on dialysis. So I'm trying to get this figured out, but it's it's a rough thing. There's anything to like coding. I don't know where the thing is. Oh, I do want that though. Oh, I don't know where the um. Oh, there's Nicholas real quick. I don't know where the um, recipe for the. Baby got a nightmare, baby needs the mama. Come on. <laughs> ah yes, the joys of being a streamer and a mom. <laughs> Come over here, we gotta be in the frame. See, we're on the TV, Levi. Look! A nightmare, so I didn't want to go back to sleep for a few minutes. Well, we won't do anything scary. How about we just finish up in the hospital then and we'll cut this a little short? But there's most like all this stuff <laughs> that'll need to happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, now I've lost stuff. I'll need to buy some of that stuff then from the merchant. Well, let's talk to Dr. Edgar here. Okay, let's, let's angle like this. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen my little mom. Oh, he's a big yawn. Oh, we'll just stay in the hospital. I'll talk to Edgar. We need to go get those ingredients. But yeah, we're not gonna go out and fight since he's up. <laughs> God protect us. 
You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Ah. Uh, it's your men I've been killing. Excellent. Leave him, Jonathan. What? This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. Alright, bear. By the sacred stone, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. Oh? This town. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. <gasps> she was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. I'll help you. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? I liked Sean. <sighs> they don't dare. Do you talk. really believe they would come for us here? In such a public venue? McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Oopsie. I guess it's the LAB house where he's got new dialogue. Put marker here. That's the other. Yeah, he's outside. Okay. Oh no, I like Harriet Jones was a. Mm. But I like Sean. I thought he was fine. Please show me. Of course. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive and then sadly dip. Good evening, Doc. Can you tell me anything about recent events in the hospital? 
Oh, goodness me. This whole story is such a shame, sir. I have no idea how it happened. What are you talking about? Poor, poor Miss Jones. Her body is missing. Someone stole it. Miss Jones's body has gone missing? Yes. The body was brought here this morning. And now it's gone. Uh-oh. Who could have stolen a corpse? That's exactly what I asked myself for the whole day. Who could do such a thing? These are terrible and shameful times, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive, okay. and then... Okay, so... I must we have... Oops, oh, God. One unit of sodium. Boop. Essence, I have 24 essence of that. Got... 32 of ferrous. And 30. Okay. Get my medical desk, huh? Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie, Mr. Fish. Okay. Oh, you're alright. Just hang out. Gonna make this up and get this Dr. Strickland in, and then we're gonna get you back to bed and I'll sign off for the night, dear. Strickland's project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. No, don't. He's only doing it to the patients that are gonna die anyway. <sighs> it's worth trying. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor. But murder? How can we cope with that? As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah. Until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. I'm so sorry. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. And she's sorry to be shook up. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Dr. Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices, maybe more. Did you recognize the voices? What did they say? I couldn't hear. It sounded like they were arguing or something. Mm -hmm. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. What on earth happened here? Holy crud. Us. I messed up. Okay. There, there's, there's, there's burn again. Good evening, Nurse Brent. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. 
I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Look good. I think I would ask you no. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. What anymore? It's like a really big problem I'm having right now. It's not this one, is it? No, so it goes outside. Cody, nice. Cody and my buddy do not get along. Dr. Strickland. Good evening, Doc. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? I'm sure it was not your fault, Dr. Reed. My fault? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's just... I heard it was you who brought the murderer inside our walls. But you couldn't know, could you? I mean... no. I have managed to improve the mixture by diluting it. Have you ever heard of Sir Joseph Francis Olive, or the placebo effect? No, I don't think so. Why? A placebo is a substance or procedure that has no actual physical effect. You made a placebo of my project. Why? Research has established that a placebo, as long as the subject believes in the effect, can provoke a positive physiological reaction. Really? That's fascinating. And you want me to, what, administer the placebo and see what occurs? Something like that, yes. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but I trust you, Dr. Reed. Please take the key to my cabinet and put this placebo there for future use. Oh. Oh, I saw this little boy. Okay, hold on. Let's get your arm tangled here. Snug with my mom. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I don't know where your cabinet is. It reads me like a book. I never could keep anything from her. There. Oh no, the script stairs and that, yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna cut it tonight because I've got the little one, so. My goodness. Fun, fun. Big twist. Alright. So we'll sign off for the night. Have a good weekend, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye!